you're live. All right, here we go. Hey, I don't have a lot of time tonight. I've been streaming for like about an hour, um, but I only have like half an hour. I have a, I have a date. I haven't gone on a formal date with my boyfriend, partner, fiance in, in a long time. So I am excited for that. Um, there's like some tidying and stuff in this room that I kind of have to get after. Hey! Hi Lily Frost. I just want to start off um, by saying that uh, I know there was like um, like a little bit of kind of drama <laughs> that has been going on in my comment section and on my, um, Doll Street Journal, uh, Instagram, um, account. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to, like, if anybody happens to watch this later on who is, like, mad at me or, um, is, like, upset, you know, I, 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 I can understand, uh, why, uh, people are really angry and upset and it wasn't my in intention to, to make anyone angry and upset. I, I actually kind of thought that the general public was a little more, um, like objective and, and also had like more of a, an open-minded like experience to, uh, some of the, the manga titles that I have in my collection that I was sharing. The premise of the reel was like manga titles where people unfollow me because I know they are so controversial and, and then people are like, Ooh, that girl has a problem. I got to unfollow her. I don't agree with that. And, um, some people don't agree with like the context of these manga and I totally understand why at the same time, it's like, we, we don't know the author. We haven't spoken to the author. We don't know why we can't just assume that we know why these authors made their stories these ways. Somebody was coming at me. Two people came at me and was like, oh, because you cope. I was explaining that I read these manga. Hey, no, not really. I just jumped on here. Hey. <laughs> Hello there. Poison Girl Doll Hunter. <laughs> I feel like that's your your story right now. Um, but yeah, I was just kind of uh, summarizing. If anybody comes on here and, um, you know, they have a strong opinion, I'm, I'm really open-minded. So a lot of people have been in my DMs with mixed opinions and um, I've been just reading all of them and if they get a little hostile or violent like you know I have to block them and um, somebody was saying like the way that I cope is is not healthy but I, I did come to a defense here because I was like the way that people cope is not up to anyone like we can't say oh that's not like no trained psychologist is going to say to their patient that's not a Hopi a healthy coping mechanism. They might say to them, do you think, like let's say someone's coping with alcohol, they might say to them, do you think that coping with alcohol has proven to be a healthy mechanism for you? And then their patient might reply and be like, no, it hasn't. But nobody's going to, no therapist is going to directly say, that's, you're not healthy. That's not healthy. I'm on a pause for poison because I bought a grail. Okay, so... <laughs> What? Who? Who did you buy? I should stop right now with all of that stuff. With the Instagram, the Doll Street Journal Instagram. I'm just saying, if you want to come at me and you need to ask me anything, we can talk it out. I'm open. It is a safe space and we can talk it out. If you assume something about me and you hate me and you just want to follow me and block me and whatever that's your prerogative it's the internet 
So, I need to prepare some things and move some things around in here. So, I'm going to... I'm actually going to turn on the overhead light and get ready. So originally I was going to like film unboxing this Calico Critters play set that I, I sold a pull up doll to afford this Calico Critters. And who did I sell? I actually sold, um, core and that's been my whole thing I've been vlogging about like how if I want to buy something I have to sell something else and so I kept her original stock outfit but I have done really good with that so far and on my community page I posted that I had sold enough stuff to raise the money that I wanted for my like redecorating idea that I had for my room upstairs you will see. <laughs> Gary. Hey. <laughs> really? Um, you know, you have to like, it's kind of controversial. And so on my Instagram, uh, I posted a reel. It was like not the last reel I posted, but it's, it's one that has it has like 183,000 views now um, on that Instagram account. And there are like some people who like just flock to the comment section to be like, this woman is this. And now she's bad and she should die. <laughs> and <laughs> it's like 70% of the comment section. And so I was like, oh, snap. Like people really feel this way um and I just kind of like explained myself and then people were like that's not okay they're like why are you like this and I'm like well this is why I'm like this and they're like nobody asked and I'm like well you just asked <gasps> so you know it's my first time dealing with like so many trolls in one comment section so what I am doing I'm gonna turn on the overhead light that is what's going to happen here. And I'm going to take you guys with me because there is this why though. Um, I don't want it to like take up too much time of this live because I wanted to like do some stuff in this room. But basically in a nutshell, I have manga titles on my shelf, on my bookshelf, in my manga collection that have themes that are very taboo some may say that they are just downright immoral and they're like topics that do exist in this world and are even illegal one of them is about like vampires though so i think it's kind of like if you ever watch game of thrones and the lannisters so like kind of something like that and people were saying, because I read these, I am, like, a really bad person. Um, and they're, like, asking me why I read these. And, like, I am a victim of SA. And I am a victim of, like, some pretty, pretty bad stuff. Like, my little heart and soul, you know, went through a lot. But I healed through it. I'm a certified uh, yoga teacher. I was on medication. I'm not on medication anymore. Um, I used to be an alcoholic. I'm not an alcoholic anymore. And um, yeah, I, I do yoga, I dance, I read, and like that's how I heal. And, and that's my coping mechanism. Um, and that's how I heal. I cry, I listen to black metal, I buy a lot of dolls and toys. And uh, yeah, the younger anime. But the thing is, is like when you go to Japan, like you're in Japan and you're shopping for pull up dolls. And you go to the big Akihabara, um, you know, Radio Kaikan building, which is this huge toy store. And there are all these floors of like all sorts of stuff. And you go to these anime figure, um, like glass encasements. And some of these anime figures, you know, you're like, oh, who is this character? And you look up the anime and you watch the anime. And it's like, it's extreme, like not for any purist at all. 
Yeah, stay positive. <laughs> Comments technically boost your post and feel. Yeah, they do. And so it's kind of like, it's good for my algorithm, but it's also kind of like, whew, it's just intense. But anyways, yeah, you go to Japan and it's like, people are not up in arms about these taboo subjects because it's kind of like how these people express themselves in like a very repressed culture. Um, and everybody is looking at it as fiction, right? And so they actually just moved the age of consent in Japan from 13 to 16, which is incredible. And in my opinion, I think that the age of consent could even be bumped up to 18 or that we could even have more education on emotional intelligence around sexuality for young people um, and that parents really need to do their due diligence because obviously in manga sections there are some manga that parents might be like oh yeah that's just cartoon but it's like yeah no your child should not read that so yeah some yeah it should question should definitely question okay so I found a really I found a really cool feature about um, my phone. My phone has this really cool feature. Or OBS has this cool feature. So I, basic, I basically can add a video in and it can be my camera phone. My camera phone. So yeah. Connected. Woo. So I can add. I better put it on a tripod first so I can bring you guys. Basically, I can just like bring you guys with me now um, in this room. And I'm going to use this feature just so you know. Little spoiler, um, me and Emotra Crush, we were talking about, and this is just, it was just casual conversation. It might not be um, happening right away, but we we're talking about like a pull up doll face up tutorial. Oh, Violetta, if you um, want to be a part of that, we would love your. I would love your input on that as well. And so kind of just like a tutorial br broken into like four different, four different um, sections. So like eyebrows, you know, one of the videos and um, yeah, kind of something like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of full screen this. This is like kind of like what I am looking at. That is why America or North America should do what Japan does. Split up manga from kid-friendly to adult-friendly. Yeah, you know, and they should definitely have, like, literal sections that are not accessible to children at all um, at, like, the Indigo store. So I'm just pulling back here because basically what I had initially planned was... Oh, sorry. I was going to... Um, I was going to make a video of unboxing the Calico Critters here, but I think I may quickly unbox it on this video. Maybe not. Let's see how quickly I can kind of put together. Oh my God, I'm down. I got three commissions, so I can definitely try to record some clips for y'all to use. Yeah, so I like, the thing is with OBS is like I can pull clips into a live stream. You could be in on the live stream commenting on your clips that you've shared with me. I can pull them into OBS and I was basically going to prep some video, pre-prep some video and some kind of like um, graphic design type stuff and then kind of like email it over to her, kind of get like a schedule going, kind of like have it once every two weeks, give people three weeks to get their dolls erased, to order their make it own kits and just kind of like get all of that in order. So I had two ways that I was going to do this. I was going to either do like I'm probably going to do a bird's eye view shot of the actual um, filming process. And so what I do is I set up a tripod with kind of like a, a horizontal arm bar. And that's how I filmed the top down stuff. I just ordered like this from Amazon, which is just basically this kind of like computer thing. And I would like lay it down on here. And so I'll probably do that. Take a top-down shot of the clothing that I'm going to use, but I was going to put a lot of dolls in this video, and everybody was going to get either their, you know, their, everyone's going to get their outfits changed, some girls are going to get, you know, their hairstyle, their outfit changed, their um, eye chips changed, and it's just going to basically be like this kind of try-on 
restyle haul of a bunch of dolls in a bunch of different brands. So it's going to take a bit of time, <laughs> but I did have a couple of people request another try on haul and I did want to do like, I wanted to try on all my own clothes, but I was like, you know what? My content is 90% doll. So that is not on like the priority. It's not the priority, but it's definitely also on the roster. Bye Lily. Oh, you could also do a voiceover. Yeah, uh, that would be amazing. Voice over on the video clips. Um, if you send me the video clips, um, I can just like caption them with kind of like an auto caption as well. So let me go get the rainbow highs over here. Let me just kind of like pull you guys in a little bit closer with uh, what's going on here. So I am kind of prepping this photo at the moment. But I feel like um, the one three scale dolls because the cover needs to be, the bottom half of the cover was gonna be the dolls and I was gonna have the top half of the cover be outfits. Or it might just be the dolls. So, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna kinda mess around with a couple different cover options. Sun and moon show fan, hello. <laughs> How's it going? But yeah, I, I think for sure. Yeah, because, well, all of the manga, maybe not um, some anime figures that are like, obviously, SFW. Like, NSFW manga, NSFW um, anime figures are like in a whole other store altogether. And then obviously, like, adult manga and anime are like in their own section at the bookstore but I've seen some adult anime and, and manga um, mixed in with the the children's mixed into the children's section so yeah they definitely need to um, they definitely need to Kind of get that, get that in order. Okay. Okay. So, a little sneak peek. But these are all the dolls that are going to be a part of this video. I did want to get, um, it's going to be a snug fit here. Because I did want to get all three of these girls. Get Toa in here. She's just wearing this little mighty. She's a bit risque right now. She's she's still 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 appropriate, but kind of risque. She's kind of risque. Ooh, but can you sit up straight, girl? Like, why are you? <gasps> my doll, my my Momo, my doll featuring pretty. She pretty her sister. I think she's sister is sitting up straight, but Toa is like trying to lean back here. Okay. She's, okay, she's on the end. Oh my gosh, I love your plushie collection. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness, that's another one. Yeah. It doesn't look like I'm unboxing the calico tonight, but I am definitely going to start putting in the hours the time to this video. I'm gonna put her skirt on because she's looking a little. <laughs> Aside from everything I was saying, what is everybody doing this weekend? What's everybody up to? I know Violet is up to commissions. <laughs> well, what is everyone else up to? What are you all doing this weekend? What are you all doing this weekend? Um, where should I put this little sweetheart? She's my. She's one of those token, in like a lot of animes, you'll have like this older lady who's like 50, but she looks like she's a teenager because she just has like this crazy baby face. That's who this girl is. Hey. Bye, 
her memories. She is so obviously not a child. <gasps> um, okay. I think it's kind of endearing when you can see, like, the knee joint in a doll, because it's, like, showing that this is a doll. But it also can look a little cheeky, too. Or even just unkept. So we'll try to um, hold her sitting down and probably lift up some of these shorter dolls that are in the back on like a podium. So I was going to put the Calico Critter set up here where Dal Hanayame is. She is up in the corner, and I'm just actually moving Yutsuzu. I just realized I need to move her up here. Up here. Sorry. I'm just not ready. It's really hard for me <laughs> to be ready to take a doll out of a box in general. So, you know, I'm just letting it come naturally. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force it. I really liked her up here. Um, but I guess, I feel like she needs to go at the top. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm kind of. She's up there, but I feel like now her face looks like really small. And that this box, like honestly, this box is just so tall. So like next to this pull-up doll, like she almost needs to be, I, she needs to be on her own shelf. Oh, I got this. Okay. So she's going to be on her own shelf and she's going to come down over here. I'm just not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> Some people are like, I don't know how you can keep them in their, their boxes like that. And I'm like, oh, I know. I'm like, I know how. I have anxiety. <laughs> that's how, that's what keeps them in their boxes. Anxiety. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think that's all right. So let's go back over here to this photo that we were setting up. So yeah, I sold quite a bit of stuff but actually no dolls other than one of my customs. So I haven't been like purging a lot of dolls um, like all of a sudden. I always like, I'm fascinated when I see someone like purging like, I don't know, 20 dolls at once. Um, not for a medical emergency, but just because they just feel like, oh my gosh, I have to. And I, I might even get to that point at one. Sometimes I feel that way. Like, I'm just like, oh, I gotta do this now. Okay, those three girls are, oof, just barely. Okay. Okay. Hello. Da, da, da. And then we've got... Known over here and I'm going to minimize the screen because I do have to pop off kind of soonish so I'll just throw my face on in case any other friends stop by hey <laughs> I guess I could just go like that <laughs> I'm gonna look down. So, is this the new 
think this is the first time I've used my desk as well. And I'm really quite proud of it. <laughs> it took me like four days to kind of like tidy it and make these cord covers. But um, I'm, I really like how they turned out. So this girl's going to get elevated. And then we have, oh my goodness, we have Minerva who, I was going to change her eye chips. They just don't want to know. And we have Chocolat Melier, which I just love that she has like the pierced earrings. Ooh. We have to elevate these girls. Oh, that felt good. So I will have to give some girls like a hairbrush. And um, that's going to take a bit of time. I think I can only fit the two on the stem. Oh, my Nata shape. Just look at how it's pulled back, too. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> she was falling back. And it was really scary. I just want to make sure. Nope. Not, uh, last thing I want is to come into this room and one of their dolls fell on their back and their eye, back of their eye messed up. I got your gold and I'm not going to do anything similar. Hmm. So they have to get lifted. This one girl's got to get lifted. What's my favorite YouTuber? Oh my gosh, that's so hard. <laughs> There's so many great creators out there. I kind of like, <gasps> oh my goodness. I like Big Dawes TV. He's not a doll collector. He's just like a comedian. <laughs> I'll, I'll type it here. It's just really funny. He's kind of like one of those guys that like gives away like money and stuff. He does like com community. His name is Dawson. I, I find his content really entertaining. Um, for doll stuff, I really like, um, like Hextian, I like Pigeon Doll for doll stuff. Um, and I also really like, um, Toy Guma. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. <laughs> Rewatched your Mr. Kids Eileen video. I'm wanting to purchase one. Did you eventually find out how to remove the head? Um, I can actually include her in this video. So this is kind of like what the setup is right now. Actually, Eileen is just right over here. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure her head is attached by a string. And her head cap. Actually, let me just take her wig off right now. I'm pretty sure with the ball jointed dolls, one of my dolls, you just, yeah. So basically in the head cap is like this thing here, like twists and then the head comes off. But then you have to make sure that the string, I think, well, I don't think this S hook is going to go through the neck joints at all. You basically twist. It's the same with my um, other dolls. You basically twist this S hook and then the head comes off. So that's kind of what the dealio was with my um, mini fee. But she doesn't have um, the string there. She just kind of has like a tab, if I can recall. So I'll pop her wig I'm so sorry, baby girl. I'm not going to leave you. Don't worry. I'm not going to leave you without a wig. Don't worry about that. And you were not looking down before. You were looking up. She was, she was strung a bit tight, somebody was saying. And um, I, I actually... I do agree with that. I do agree with that. So, um, yeah, this is the potential setup 
for the picture. So these are the dolls. I might throw Eileen in there as well. Um, I just got to fit her in. Oh, <laughs> yes. I'm getting a, I am getting a reminder to, um, to, to haul butt and uh, get ready for our date night here. So yeah, a short stream tonight. Um, I might live stream tomorrow. I really want to open this on, unbox this Calico Critters thing. So I am definitely going to film it. And hey, Lily. But yeah, I have to go. I have a date night. I haven't had a date night with my partner in a very, very long time. But I am hoping to stream longer and um, how to dress her with. I was wanting to know how to dress her with. Yeah, I want to, was wanting to know how to dress her. Like, like what clothes? Like what clothes? If you have Instagram, Gary, let's talk about, um, if you have Instagram by chance or even Facebook, I am Veronica the Witch on Facebook. Um, let's chat about your potential um, Mystic Kids purchase. But I do have to jet, so stay tuned. I will be back on line, um, probably live tomorrow. I don't know what time, um, but I will make a note of it probably on my community page. So I've got a jet. Sorry, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your night, and I will be back on here tomorrow, if not Sunday. So I will talk to you guys soon without removing her head. Ah, okay. So... We got to talk like outfits and such. Thank you. Yes. Send me doll pics all the time. Message me about dolls all the time, everyone. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. Have a great